What's up guys, Alex here with Toolrev, and today we're comparing Milwaukee's most powerful multi-tool, their new M18 Fuel model 2836, to DeWalt's current most powerful multi-tool, the 20 volt DCS356. And for good measure, we're gonna run them both against this 3 amp corded Makita model TM3000. We'll run all three tools at their top speed of 20,000 OPM using new wood only blades, new carbide tip multi-blades, and fresh five amp hour batteries on these two to check for speed, vibration, and overall control. Milwaukee's blade change is fast. Just flip the lever and unscrew the pin a few turns to slide in universal accessories or all the way out to install closed end accessories and closing the lever tightens the pin so you don't have to crank it all the way down. The DeWalt change is faster for universal accessories, but for closed end accessories, the adapter's a washer and bolt that requires a hex wrench. Eighteen seconds is amazing. This Milwaukee cuts like a reciprocating saw. It clears dust well and seem to maintain the highest speed under load. I've been running DeWalt's 355 for years now. It performs the same as this 356 and they're just slow at plunge cutting. Here I ran the 356 a few times and this was the best it could do. The DeWalt with a 5 amp hour battery weighs 3.6 pounds. The Milwaukee with a 5 amp hour battery weighs 4.2 pounds. The DeWalt has a variable speed trigger that goes from 0 to 13, 0 to 17, or 0 to 20,000 OPM. Uh, and all those speeds when brought up to full speed can be locked on high with the trigger itself being the release. The lock on button also doubles as a lockout safety. The Milwaukee on the other hand uses a on off switch and has a speed dial that goes from 10 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. They've also added a an auto feature that lets you that starts off slow so you can be more precise in hitting your line and then it ramps up to full speed under load. It's hard to see in this overexposed video but the Milwaukee took the DeWalt to school, sanding down these baseboards. It did it in half the time. So you can see here, the DeWalt did this in 66 seconds and the Milwaukee did this in 27 seconds. So much quicker on uh, nails and copper. They're all pretty fast, but the Milwaukee still won. As far as vibration, they're all pretty good, but the Milwaukee's a little bit better, even though it has a looser battery than the DeWalt. Somehow it still has a little less vibration. As for control, I think, again, the Milwaukee, I think, has a much better grip. On this model, they've actually moved down the speed dial and the um, on-off switch, and they got rid of that paddle right here, so you have a lot more real estate up top here for your hand. Um, and this DCS355, this is the same as the 356 here, only this has a three-speed selector switch. The blade's pretty wild if you start a cut on 10. So if you're trying to cut a straight line and some flooring or notching something out or whatever, you know, you want to start an auto and then you get rolling. But sometimes this jumps out of auto to 10 abruptly instead of ramping up slowly. I've had three of these in my possession that I've tried. 
and they all did the same thing. Another thing I could say about this is the chuck on the uh, Milwaukee is moves way more than the chuck on the DeWalt. The blade, you can mend it, but the chuck, there's no play in this chuck. So between the two of these, the it's easier to cut a straight line with the DeWalt. The Milwaukee takes a little more skill and concentration because with that chuck play, the blade pulls away from the saw. It just takes more practice. I was carrying the DeWalt and the Milwaukee for about six months after I did the initial review you saw earlier. And uh, now I just carry the Milwaukee. If you're a professional, I mean, how could you not run the Milwaukee? <laughs> Who has time to wait around for the DeWalt? If you're just doing something here and there, you don't want to spend the extra hundred bucks and you don't want to have to, you know, worry about cutting straight lines and stuff like that. The DeWalt is probably the way to go. It's been working for me for the past few years.